Oh, hey, how you guys doing today? Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited today that I want to share with you guys the difference in bonding and grounding. Bonding and grounding. Grounding, grounding, grounding. Grounding, grounding, grounding. Stop playing. Let's go. Why we don't burn such panels? Let's talk about it. This is a sub panel. It's a 100 amp manlog with a feeder size of 2 3 riser going to a 200 amp 42 circuit man breaker downstairs. So now, there's a few reasons why we don't burn sub panel. As you can see, on this section, we remove the green screw from the sub panel. There's a few reasons why. One reason why is we want to protect the homeowner. What do I mean? So if this panel, the homeowner want to put a picture frame over this because he or she doesn't like the look of the cover and right at the very moment they put in the picture frame and this panel is bonded and then they make connection with the panel itself, they become a path for current to flow. And we do not need that. We want to protect the homeowner at all times. So that's one of the reasons. The next reason we don't burn sub panels is because if you burn this and phase one is pulling 30 amps of load because the AC is running, the stove is running, and you name it, right? So instead of that 30 amp load finding its way back to the neutral and go back to the source where it comes from, that won't be the case because if when you check, you will find probably maybe 20 something and the remaining, if you check here, it will show like there's load flowing to all this of this the whole panel there will be load flowing to it because why it's bonded right here and at this point once that happens it become it's not safe and protecting people in the system in danger with others because the minute they touch the panel they become a path and that's problematic. But if you do remove the bonding screw, when you check, everything go back to the source where it comes from, and then you have a nice system that is not bonded, and the homeowner could feel safe at home, and that's all there is to it. So please understand, when you have a sub panel, you don't wanna bond your sub panels to create more path for current to flow. You want current to only flow right back to the source, to the neutral wire, straight back to the source where it comes from. That, my friend, that's all I have for you today. Hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, put it in the comment below.